Build the virtuous Sangha out of compassion for the sake of this assembly and all living beings. Please turn the wonderful Dharma will to teach and guide us how to end birth and death, leave suffering and attain bliss, and quickly realize non-birth. Hung thân đại đức tăng thân Tuy thứ pháp hội gặp nhật thiết chúng sanh Tuyên chuyến nhiều pháp lưng giao đạo ngã môn như há liêu sanh thỏa tư y khô đà hạc là tất chứng vô sanh. Homage to the blessed, noble, and perfectly enlightened one. Nam mô san an thô su chê đô yê ơ la hơ đi san miêu san phu tô xê. Nam mô Tát Đạt Tha Tô Gia Đa Gia A La Ha Đế Tam Miệu Tam Bồ Đà Tóa. The unsurpassed, profound, subtle, and wonderful Dharma in a hundred thousand million eons is difficult to encounter. And now that I am able to see and hear, I will receive and maintain it. I vow to fathom the thus come one true and actual principles. Wu shang 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 wei miao fa ba he chen wan jie nan zao yu Nu jin jian wan te shou chi Yuan jie ru lai chen shi yi O Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, Venerable Huynang, Venerable Shenhua, Venerable Lampham people, and all good advisors and meet the folk. Chí Phật Bồ Tát, Kinh Thưa, Lục Tổ, Thượng Kinh Hóa, Ký Thầy Cô, và Ký Vị Thịnh Trí Thức, An Di Đạo Phật. Chú Phật Bồ Tát, Liêu Chủ, Sư Phụ Sáng Đoạn, Gơ Vây Chú Chạy Đoạn, Gơ Vây Sáng Trí Sư, An Mê Tổ Phổ. Hello everyone, today is the 12th of September 2021. Thank you all for coming to join us with this uh, uh, discussion of the Six Patriarch Sutra. We're nearing the end of it, uh, last chapter, chapter 10. His final instruction, his disciples. Uh, we're on slide uh, 269, picking off where we were. Uh, fundamentally, the three bodies are one body. Uh, the three bodies are the Dharma body, the reward body, the transformation body. Uh, as a reminder, Dharma body is the entire universe. And that's why uh, the Buddhist teaching is that uh, the Buddha knows about you. It's just like you know about your body. Okay? The reward body is a form of special body that's used to teach bodhisattvas. And bodhisattvas, believe it or not, uh, they are impressed by size. So it's a huge body that the body is I can see. So if you, uh, the, uh, this reward body here, the ahats and low level people cannot see. Okay? So only Bodhisattva gets to see the reward body because it's designed to impress them. They're humongous, they're so adorned that the Bodhisattvas take a look at the reward body of the Buddha and say, wow, so this is beauty looks like. And this is what cultivation results in, this perfection of this kind of beauty. Who says cultivation is sterile? Cultivation is... Oh, cultivation... It's like, um, I'm pure. 
No cultivation is the standard of beauty. You achieve what is inconceivably beautiful. Okay? That's what the reward body is. Okay, that's why bodhisattvas, they look at the reward body and say, wow, I like to have that. It's just like, I wish I could have a red car. Same analogy. Okay? Then transformation body is the wheel. The Buddha is sitting there and says, I want to save her. Let me, give me a coin. You have a coin? A quarter? <laughs> okay? So the transform, transformation body is the Buddha sits there and says, Hmm, it's time. Time is right. The time is right. So it's time to save her. So whip her. I mean, okay, wake her up. Nothing works. <laughs> okay, so that's a transformation body is that when the will feels that you are ready to be taught, when he says, let's save her, whatever it takes to save her. Okay, so he transforms into this body called Shakyamuni Buddha. He comes around and hovers around you and talks Dharma to you and teaches you. That's what the Buddha does. He does it all over the universe, not just here in the Sao world, but everywhere, wherever living beings are, and when they're ready to be taught, he shows up. Okay? Not always a Shakyamuni Buddha. Sometimes it's like Kim Deal. Yeah. To speak Dharma to you. What Dharma? Uh, what Dharma you speak? <laughs> What's your specialty? I was talking at lunch. And, 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 and uh, it was not recorded. So I said, what? Shucks, how come when I... There's no recorder. I come up with these crazy ideas like Malcolm. And, but when there's a recorder, I, my mind draws a blank. You know what I mean? You know, did you know that Malcolm just came back from Canada, quit his job just to go to Canada? <laughs> and I liked it. I said, this guy has character. He's just like us. He doesn't care for money. Yes? It's all about fun. Yes? Uh -huh. So is it fun? That's fun. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Sounds like a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, isn't it? Uh, oh, well. Uh, so anyway, so this, I was telling my, my, uh, my, my, uh, my neighbors at the lunch table, I was telling them about this, uh, this, uh, this uh, Rene Red Zeppi. Anyone heard of him, Rene Zet Red Zeppi? Oh, yeah, I, oh. I don't know what it is. I can't stand it. He might as well leave the home life over of you. You don't know anything. <laughs> Rene Red Zeppi. Google it. We have a lot of Googles coming to uh, go for us, that's why. Don't bing it. Google it. <laughs> huh? Rene Red Zeppi. Oh, he's a very world, world famous chef. Noma. Anyone heard of Noma? Huh? Noma? Huh? It's a fantastic restaurant. This guy is just, he's like, he creates, the, he has his creations, you know, that are so masterful, are so wonderful that people are willing to pay 400 bucks. Per, per seating, yeah. and you have to wait for like the entire year, six months a year for a reservation, and only three seasons. Uh, 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 seafood, okay, seafood in, in, during spring. In the summertime, what is in summer? Vegetables. Only vegetables. Can you imagine yourself forking out $400 for just 
grass. Or wheat. I mean, uh, no, grass, not wheat. Okay? And finally, uh, game. Okay? So the last part of the year, so it's only three seasons. Yeah? So he, 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 he serves what's seasonal, what's best in the season. So in the summertime, uh, you, you, you go there, and you only eat vegetables and grass and all those things. Okay? Uh, and, and his creations are all original. Okay? Uh, and that's what we're talking about. The Buddha is that way, that way too. Bodhisattva is that way too. It's, they're very original. They're, they're creating. You know what I mean? Um, you know what I mean? <laughs> so that's what cultivation is like. Cultivation frees you from your self-imposed mental constraints. And that's how you discover beauty, the beauty that you're capable of inside your brain, inside your heart, in your guts. That's why these enlightened people, they understand beauty, they appreciate beauty. They, things they touch are beautiful, like that René Red Zeppi. I don't know he's enlightened or not, but I love to taste his food. Yeah. Anyone? <laughs> I said, before I die, I will go there once. This is for the heck of it. Huh? Shall we make a tour? Because huh? one of our disciples is, uh, has his mother, is a nun who lives in Norway, Denmark. You know? Huh? Anyway, how do we get here, by the way? Oh, transformation body. Okay. Uh, so, so this, this, uh, this, uh, this, this is, is a, it's a transformation body is, is a work of art. It's creativity, you know? And that's how I see transformation bodies. I know the Chinese say, like, oh, we're there to save the world, save the Vietnamese, save the white people, and save, you know, uh, uh, and so forth. No, transformation is, is genius to me. And how he does, goes about doing things as Shakyamuni Buddha, it's incredible, okay? So those three bodies, fundamentally, uh, Master Hedang says, the three bodies are one body, okay? Why are there three bodies? There's still three bodies because we discriminate, okay? Uh, the Buddha doesn't discriminate. That's why he has only one body, Dharma body. Uh, Bodhisattva still discriminate. Shh. Don't tell the Chinese that. The Chinese would like us to believe that bodhisattvas are enlightened, therefore they don't discriminate and so forth. No, they're still impressed by red car. I mean, uh, by uh, by um, by beauty. Okay, uh, so uh, so that's why the Buddha has a uh, use the reward body to transform them, and then finally the transformation transformation body is because of our hidden inner desires. We have attached to certain things. Okay? Uh, that's, why, uh, that's why the Buddha came up with all these transformation bodies in order to impress us and get us enamored and say, oh, if cultivation like that, I, I'd like to sign up. Sign me up. You know? Where do I sign up? Hmm. All right. But actually, there's only one body. All these are just manifestations to accord with our desires, with our needs. All right? But fundamentally, it came from one, that one thing called the Dharma body. So far, so good? Hmm. Are you all awake? Okay, good. Now it's time for me to have some tea. <sighs> Questions, comments? Look at the Koreans, this song. This is such a serious lecture. <laughs> okay, next. Q&A, go ahead, Q&A. Uh, sorry, this is, sounds stupid, but do we have three bodies too, or only the Buddha has three bodies? Do we have three bodies? Hmm. 
Well, can I put it, let me put it this way. One body is hard enough. It's just like, you know, how big a house can I own? I say, how big of a house can you handle? Can you imagine what happens when you own a house, you know, and you have to clean it, and you have to clean it again? Okay. Yeah. So you can, uh, one body is about all you can, you can, you can handle, okay? Forget about the other two. Next, 270, Sutra text. Seeing that for yourself within your own nature is a body cause for realizing Buddhahood. The pure nature is originally produced from a transformation body. The pure nature is ever present within the transformation body. 本从化身生尽性,尽性常在化身中. Okay. Master Huineng says, if on the commentary slide 271, seeing yourself within your own nature is a body, a body cause for realizing Buddhahood. Okay? Uh, so, uh, what he's saying that if you look at yourself, Zhu Jian here, uh, Look at yourself. I, I translate it differently. Okay. Uh, uh, these people are too Chinese for me. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, you, can, you can see, look at yourself. Okay. And when you look at yourself and you see that there is a Buddha nature in there. The distinction is very, very important, okay? Look at yourself. Don't look outside. Don't look at her. Don't look at him. It will not help you become an, a Buddha. Is that clear? If you want to become a Buddha, you want to become enlightened, you want to open your wisdom, you want to be happy, you want to understand about beauty, you, you want to be successful, Okay? Stop looking at others. Okay? Uh, look at yourself. And if when you look at yourself and you see uh, uh, that when you look at yourself like that, okay? Uh, at, then when you look at yourself, then you see that with, within this nature here, Okay, and then you look at the look itself, there's this, this self nature there. When you look at it, you're looking at your self nature. That's how powerful it is. Is that clear? Did you notice the, how subtle the teaching is? He said, when you look at yourself, you're actually looking at your self nature. Disagree with me. Go ahead, abuse me. Isn't that beautiful? When you look at yourself, a huh, girl, you're looking at your own nature, your self-nature. That's what you're doing. Why are you looking at him? It's not your self-nature. It's not going to help you. Look at yourself. Then you're looking at your self-nature. See the, you see how subtle the Chinese teaching is? I have to interpret it for you. But the Chinese says, 肉相心中能自见。the Chinese say that if you look at your, at your own nature, within your own nature, you see yourself, I twist it around for you. I flip it around for you. And I say, is it okay to do that? The Chinese says, scholarly speaking, the Asians all hear that there's a self-nature there. Okay? And you look at your self-nature, you should see yourself. 
I interpret differently. I say, when you look at yourself, okay, you will see your nature. Any problems, you Asians? Disagree with me, please. Okay, one disagreement on seven. All right, thank you, Master. Uh, what else? Uh, you know, um, I do this meditation where I try to visualize myself in front of myself, and then I stare into my third eye, and I try to, like, see myself oh, as a Oh, he's a third eye person this morning. Is that you? Oh, good Lord. <laughs> that, that wasn't me. But, uh, um, <clears throat> and uh, I try to see myself, you know, as I am, uh, and I also don't understand uh, really that like Dharmakaya, Samakaya, kind of stuff, the, the, the three body stuff. I just look at myself as I am. And I wonder like, am I actually looking at the right things? Am I like, uh, to see myself in a mirror is not enough. To see myself for my, the causes and effects of my life is not enough. I'm not a Buddha yet. <clears throat> so what do I look at within myself? No one ever asked the Chinese that before, so we don't have an answer for that. Sorry. Next question. Who wants to know about a fourth eye? <laughs> can you talk about something I can manage? <laughs> you know, one, two, three, four. Huh? Huh? And this is so typical of these smart people, these well-read people, these educated people, well-educated people. They said, I, you know, it's intellectual reasoning. That's what he's talking about. Intellectually, it has to make sense to me. What I'm looking at, explain to me. Is it clear? His, implicit in his questions, explain to me what it means. Mary Jo said, yeah, yeah, that's me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all of you, yes? Tell me why. Why should I do it? Explain to me. No? Okay, go ahead, seven. Oh. <clears throat> I'm sorry if my question comes off that way. Uh, I, I don't really want an explanation because uh, I know that no matter what words you say, I won't, it won't lead to an understanding that enlightens me. Rather, like, I want to know how to go about it, how to look at myself in such a way that will lead to the experience of knowingness or understanding, wisdom. No, I repeat myself. This guy keeps on twisting it. No, no, I don't want to know. I, I just, just, just tell me what to do. <sighs> it's nothing to understand. This is what so such such a such a, a, a common mistake that people make when they learn about Buddhism. They want to learn about. Uh, they want to make it comprehensible. Make it rational. Okay? And it's not what the instructions are. The instructions are not meant for you to understand. It's for spies. They need to understand so that they can go back and report to the bosses. Today, boss, I just found out something fascinating. You know? You know, you, did you know that they did it? Okay? No. Instruction in Buddhism is not for you to understand. Just... Uh, just as per the instruction here, okay? Uh, just look at yourself. The mere fact, whatever, whenever we tell you to look at yourself, okay, you are actually looking at your Buddha nature. What is that called? Huh? What is that called again? Sudden teaching. It's nothing to understand. You get it? No, you're not supposed to get it. That's why it's called sudden teaching. When you look at yourself, you're looking at your Buddha nature. What else? When you look at her, 
There's no Buddha nature there. Your Buddha nature is here. It's not there. There is for the dating and all the good times. Here is enlightenment. Yes, night. Hmm? Continue? Oh, thank you very much. She allows me to continue. See, uh, that's what's beautiful about it. It's not about what am I supposed to look at. See, he says, no, no, I don't want to understand. But that says, but what am I supposed to look at? Tell me what to do. No, it's about keep looking at it. Is the instructions. Keep looking at yourself. Stop looking at others. So what happens is that when you look at yourself, and say, um, 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 I wonder what Jane Howe is doing right now. Malcolm thinks. Is that looking at yourself? Stop it. Go back to, um, drop the James. That's what looking at yourself is. Is that clear? That's it. What you do is that you add a head on top of a head. When we tell you, look at yourself, you say, um, and I wonder. Okay? Your mind wanders away. You think of, of other things, others, anything else but yourself. Keeping looking at yourself. Go back to it. Go back to it. Eventually, you see yourself. Nature. It's nothing to understand. It's a, and you want to ex, need to explain to you what do I, what am I supposed to do? And you don't, do, and you don't admit it's called explanation. Explain to me what I'm supposed to do. The instructions are clear. Keep looking at yourself. Don't go away. Keep, go back. Go back to yourself. These guys have been coming to the temple a few years now. He says, it's got to be a secret where they find this Buddha nature thing. You know, where it's probably like a, a, a treasure trove or something. It's got to be somewhere, a secret map or something, a treasure map or something. And a six page chart gave it all away for free. Keep looking at yourself. Don't look for a treasure map. Just look at yourself. What are you looking at? Your ugliness. Remember, we talk about beauty. We talk about Noma, Rene Red Zebi. Right? That's beauty. That's, that's genius. Yes? Did we talk about uh, uh, how petty you are? Uh, Lily, did we talk about pettiness? You know what I mean? We talked about just looking at your own, at yourself, okay? And stop looking outside, okay? In particular, okay, look at how come I tell you to sit for two hours and you can't? Stop making excuses. Look at why you can't sit for two hours. What's stopping you? Eat less. Don't touch the tummy. It's sacred. You, you understand? It's such a powerful statement right there. Look at yourself. Stop looking outside. Keep on looking at yourself. When you go outside, look at Brady there. Go back to your own. Don't. Hey. Man, I'm telling you, you do the OM, you become enlightened too. You just don't do the OM right, that's all. I'm serious. OM is one of uh, the uh, 80,000 Dharma doors. I'm 4,000 Dharma doors short. Because the latest one is OM. Hmm? Okay? Uh, so, 
Master Huang Yideng puts it in a very, very literary way. He says, you look at your Buddha nature and you can find yourself. That's what he means in Chinese. Agree, Chinese people? Chinese people who understand Chinese, Koreans, and so forth. You, agree, you, you agree with me? That's what he says. The verse here says that you look at yourself, nature, you see yourself. And my problem is this. The way I, I just said it, but you didn't pay attention. The way that it's, it's presented to you is for the Chinese consumption. Here's my problem. Because of him, people like him and me, okay? My problem is this. Look, if you look at yourself in nature, first thing that pops in my mind is, what is it? Yeah? What is it? You keep on telling me to look at myself in nature. What is it? Where is it? How far is it? How big is it? How do I recognize it? Yes? That's what Westerners mind do. Not Peter's, but... You know what I mean? Agree or disagree? We are educated people. Don't give me nonsense. It's okay to tell that woman over there, look at yourself nature, and she, she won't do it anyway. She says, okay, I look at myself nature, but she's okay, and she goes back to, you know, plotting for making more money. Okay? So the Asians, they will not argue with you. Agree or disagree? You Asians. That's what you're conditioned to do. Koreans, you agree with me or not? You told to look at your self-nature. Say, okay, I look at my self-nature. But then you don't know what to do. Where is your self-nature? How do I look at it? You don't dare ask either. Agree or disagree? Two mountain people. These, they become statues. Q&A, go ahead. Yeah, thank you, Sufo. Uh, regarding the looking at your nature, so for me, when I look, I'm not so sure if it's right or not, but for me, when I look into my nature, it's it's when I'm thinking, what is it in me that is I have done wrong? Is there a way that I can improve myself or better myself? Is that one of the way to look at our true nature, Master? That's what I just explained. Don't worry about your self nature. Look at what. Look at yourself. What What about yourself? You're looking at. You look at your ugliness your ikkiyanas, okay? You look at it, you will find yourself nature. Okay? You keep on looking at that, you will find yourself nature. Yes, five. Uh, Master, sometimes after charm meditation, I look in the mirror and I look like a different person. So is that like the Buddha nature? No, no, that's called looking in a mirror. nothing to do with the Buddha nature. Yeah, you're a troublemaker. Go back to Canada. <laughs> okay, it refers to the fact when you look at your zi jian here, look at yourself. Okay? I interpret differently from the way the Chinese teachers phrase it for them. Okay? because it's misleading to me because of, of, of my, my, my difficulties with these you Western educated minds. You say, Where is, what is my self-nature? Why do you keep on telling me, look at my self-nature? What is it? And I can't tell you what the self-nature is like. You see, that's my problem. That's why I flip it around. I said, uh, so, so I flip around and say, if you look at yourself, in particular, and this is very specific, like what Alex asked for, 
when you look at yourself, what are you looking at? Look in, at your own ugliness, your own greed, your own anger, your own stupidity. Okay? That's called looking at yourself. That's what the Chinese also call return light and self-illuminate. Okay? We simplify for them. We say, look at yourself. Yes, go ahead. Spy number one. Phật Bà Thầy, mình nhìn vô đó cái đẹp, cái hay, cái giỏi, cái này, cái kia. Thầy, mình đâu có thấy được Phật Thánh đâu. Mình nhìn, mình nhìn cái, cái, cái đẹp với cái hay thôi. Với cái ăn ngon, ăn dở đồ. Thì mình đâu có thấy được cái Phật tánh mình đâu. Mình không có nhìn vô cái Phật tánh của mình. Mình chỉ nhìn, nhìn như vậy. Sao mà tu mà được tiến bộ. Mô Phật. Master, if you only look at your beauty, your, uh, the, your goodness and then how good you are, or if you only focus on whether the food is good or bad or whatever, you won't never see... Um, your Buddha nature, and then you won't make progress in your cultivation. But is it okay for, for us to go to Noma and try out Rene Red Zeppi's food? Would you go, or you'd rather stay here and eat Chiu Chao food? Còn xa cái Phật Tánh rất là gì <laughs> Master, so, if I eat that one, it w I will be further away from my Buddha nature. So what? We have still have plenty of time, unlike you. <laughs> okay, uh, but good point. Excellent point, by the way. Uh, she just wants to give me, to raise hell with me. She's like a heckler from the other side. So he said, I disagree with you. <laughs> it don't make sense. Uh, but it's a point well taken. Okay. What is saying? What is saying? Let me paraphrase it for her, just like I paraphrase the six page chart. <laughs> yes. Uh, so what she's saying is you telling us when you look at yourself to look at our ickiness. Yes? how ugly we really are, how greedy we really are, okay? But why don't we look at uh, how pretty we are, how generous we are, how wonderful we are, how smart we are, how wise we are? Why don't we do that? Why do, we tell us, why do you tell us to look at your own ugliness and not the, the good part? Lily. Because the Koreans in Korea refuse to, to say anything. <laughs> no? Why? Why do we tell you to look at your ickiness? Why do we tell you to look at your ugliness? But don't look at your how pretty and how wonderful, how smart, how generous you are. Why? Why not? Go ahead. Yes, I think... 못난 거를 아름답게 바꾸기 위해서 그렇게 하라고 그러는 것 같습니다. 我们的人生是聪明，他们把所有的功夫都做完了，他们没有去做功夫，他们只是变成聪明，他们变成聪明，他们变成聪明，他们变成聪明，他们变成聪明，他们变成聪明，他们变成聪明，他们变成聪明，
Why do we tell you that way? Mm -hmm. Can we hear her? I think the self nature is uh, neither dirty or clean. True. Okay. Very good. How about number nine? Daniel said we look at ourselves to become a better person. Anyone else? Yes, seven. Uh, this comment is inspired by Peter. Uh, there's an American saying that goes, you got to check yourself before you wreck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is, must be depressed. <laughs> Go ahead, Q and A. Yeah, thank you, the Master. I'm thinking if we look at the beauty in us and look at all the good thing that we've done. It could be that um, we will increase our arrogance. Okay. Very good. Anyone else? Brady agrees wholeheartedly. He says, yeah, yeah. I agree with my arrogance. Yes, number nine. Excellent. When huh? you just look at yourself and the good side and not the bad, you get stuck. You get stuck? Stuck? But stuck? You don't improve. You don't improve. Hmm. Very good. You all understand. When you look at your, your strength, you look at how wonderful you are, how smart you are, how pretty you are, how irresistible you are, how brilliant you are, you bound to what? Fall in love with yourself. Okay, that's why you absolutely do not wish to look at your beauty if you want to get rid of just your ego. Does it make sense now? It, the, the Chinese won't step, spell it out for us. He says, look at yourself, look at yourself, look at yourself. Why are you not looking at yourself? I'm giving you very precise things. Okay? Don't look at how beautiful you are. Don't look at how great you are. Don't look at yourself as a guru guru. No one tells you that. No one dares tell you that, right? Because you're paying them. That's why no one dares contradict you. It's, oh, we need your money. Huh? We appreciate your patronage. We appreciate your kimchi. Okay? We appreciate the food you give us. We appreciate your coming. Oh, we're so grateful. Okay? That only makes your ego bigger. Okay? Uh, so part of the instructions, don't look at how great you are, how wonderful you are, how smart you are, because that's not going to change. It's a waste of time. Instead, go see a movie. James Bond's coming out next month, you know. <laughs> yes, ah uh hung. -huh. Master, there's a Marvel movie for Asian called Shang-Chi. It's very good. Highly recommended. It. it was muy bien. He's both Chinese and Mexican. Muy bien. It's, it's Asian American, but then have Hong Kongers and all of the good things of Asian. Shang-Chi. Legend of the Ten Rings is really good. Young man. I knew about it already. <laughs> you see, I look at myself. I knew about it already. <laughs> I rest my case. Need I say more? Yes, nine. 
this is from Jason K from earlier. But last time you said if you break through all five skandhas, you are certified to fourth stage arhatship. Why, why is that different from what the Shurangama Sutra says? It's not exactly the same thing. Where the Shurangama also goes a step further and says, how we go about it, I'm not telling you yet. When you look at the five skandhas, there's a way, there's a way to look at them. Not just, look, five skandhas. Which one? It's my very first question. Which one do you want me to look at? There's all five. There are five fingers. Which one do I look at? Anyone else? Yes, number seven. Seven. Hello? Oh. I have a question about when you look at your ugliness. Uh, I personally have a problem cultivating guilt about my ugliness. Uh, how can I feel worse about being bad? <laughs> I feel for you. Are you married? You must be married. Your wife lays guilt trips on you? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> hmm? Okay. Don't let them do it to you, man. <laughs> we do it to them. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, you guys are so serious. Go to China for serious uh, dharma. Here's... Yes, eight. Thank you, Master. Um, I do feel that Ice Cube's recommendation to chickadee check yourself before you wreck yourself is a pretty accurate Western interpretation of what we're talking about. Um, in my experience, yeah, is but that that's that's sterile. <laughs> I prefer mine. Don't fall in love with yourself. <laughs> yes, sir. God, these guys are so sterile. I, I want, you know. I think I, I think want the, cleverness. No. I I feel this there's is cleverness the naked in the truth. The uh, the prefix of chickadee to check because it's kind of catchy. You know, you chickadee check yourself. Check check. Yeah yeah. <laughs> um. yeah. Okay. Uh, well, <laughs> have it your way. Eight, yeah. To, uh, to, sh to share um, my experience when I, uh, when I look at myself has been, uh, y you can find both um, negative things and positive things. Yes. Um, for example, I'll look at myself and say, I recognize that I'm, I'm scared and, and lazy to cross my legs. Um, but then on the other hand, I'll look at myself and realize I was, I was wise to listen to my wife and come to temple and learn from my good knowing advisor. I have nothing bad to say about that. <laughs> you guys are too much. <laughs> I'm speechless. <laughs> I'm going to shoot myself in the foot. <laughs> I look at my, my, my ugliness, but I'm not going to shoot myself in the foot. Okay, mm. listen. Okay. Mm. If you do it the Chinese way, like Master Huynang says, look at yourself, nature, you find yourself. Okay? That's like looking for a needle in a haystack. Okay? Because you don't, the self nature, it's so nebulous. You don't know what it is. How can you find yourself? How can you see yourself? So that's why I love the concept here because it's very profound. But the way the Chinese put it for their own kind is not optimal. It's not practical for our times. Back then, you know, and you were in China, in Asia, and they tell you, look at yourself in nature. Okay? You will see yourself. 
And they just sit there, I look myself nature, I'm looking myself nature, I'm looking myself nature, you know, I'm looking myself nature, and that's what the Chinese do. The we Westerners are not like that anymore, okay? Uh, especially Koreans, they disagree with you constantly. Okay? Isn't that true? Okay. So, Xianan, she disagrees with you. Uh, so, so that's why I changed it around because the same exact concept, okay? You look at yourself and that's how you find, that's when you do that, you're actually looking at yourself nature. Someday you understand what I mean. Until then, look at your ickiness, look at your ugliness, look at your undesirable, avoid looking at your strength, looking at your beauty. Is that clear? That's what you do. If you do that is the cause for becoming a Buddha. But if you do it my way, you become a Buddha a lot faster than you do it the Chinese way. You see? You see, when I spell it out for you, it's clearer, isn't it, than, than the way they explained it this way? Okay? Look at your self-nature, and you can see yourself. Look at the self-nature, and you see yourself. Okay? That's too vague. You look at yourself, you are actually looking at your self-nature. Therefore, if you keep on looking at yourself, ugliness, prettiness, goodness, badness, all those things, you are still looking at your self-nature. In particular, number two, if you specialize in looking at only your ugliness, only your greed, only your three poisons, you become a Buddha a lot faster because you do that, you see your self-nature a lot faster than the other ways, than the Chinese way. Agree or disagree? Ah, you're catching on. There's nothing to agree, just do it. Q&A. Master? Why do you uh, become a Buddha faster when you focus on those things? You become a Buddha faster than you look at the rest of the people, especially the Chinese who look at all the good things they have, how superior they are compared to us Caucasians, I mean uh, Americans. Okay? Uh, you become a Buddha faster than a Chinese. And that's all I'm interested in. <laughs> the way the Chinese teach themselves, that's still slow. I'll give you a shortcut. That's a shortcut I gave you. Okay? Hmm. Keep doing, you see. You, you become, you, you get there a lot sooner. Because they get distracted. You look at your, your good things and the bad things and you see yourself, see? Is, is you, there's no need for you to look at your good things. You have them already. There's no point. It's not meant for you to look at your good things. It's for others to look at your good things. You don't need to look at your good things, your good side, your strengths. Okay? They see it already. You don't need to look at them. On the other hand, we have a tendency to hide our ugliness, to deny our ugliness. Okay? The only time that we would look at our ugliness is when our wives lay guilt trips on us. You know what I mean? I was divorced. I'm divorced. <laughs> so I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Just kidding. You women, calm down, calm down, calm down. Okay? <sighs> Good to release that. All these years of frustrations. <laughs> Finally, I'm free. I'm free. Thank you. Okay. Uh, yes, number nine. Jason, Jason K said, the sutra says when you break through the five skandhas, you are at first and second dhyana, not fourth stage. 
probably a, a non-Buddhist sutra, not the Buddhist sutras. The pure nature is originally produced from a transformation body. Okay? The pure nature is ever present within the transformation body. Good Lord, how am I going to make this comment? Did the Master Shion say anything? <laughs> I don't know what he's talking about. Ben zong hua shen, sheng jing xing. Okay, what does he mean? Korean, Chinese people, help us out. Huh? See, let me cheat a little bit, see what's next. And he lists the information down the road. See, he 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 has he 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 has more to say about this. That's why I I avoid committing myself. Okay, so shall we do it this way? Let's not commit. Just read it. Okay. Sometimes it's better to sh shut up and uh, appreciate the beauty, huh? Instead of chattering away. So. The pure nature is originally produced from a transformation body. Okay, and that's what the great teacher says. The pure nature is ever present within a transformation body, and he'll elaborate. Can we leave it at that? Okay, we don't have to explain everything. We're not sure we don't explain, okay? It's no point in sticking your neck out for nothing. We're not getting paid for this. Sutra text, the nature leads the transformation body down the proper road. And in the future, the full perfection is truly without end. The root cause of purity is a lust nature. And once rid of lust, the substance of the nature is pure. Yeah! Uh, excuse me. Xing-shi-hua-shen-xing-zhen-dao,当来圆满亮无穷,银杏本是尽兴音,除银即是尽兴身。Oh, excuse me. <laughs> this, this certifies what I just said, what I just told you. I swear to God, I didn't look, I wasn't prepared for this. <laughs> I didn't prepare. Okay? I just came, opened my mouth and spread my COVID-19. Okay? Okay, so Master Huynang continues. Okay, this is so exciting. He says, the nature leads the transformation down the proper road. Isn't, that, isn't it wonderful? Your Buddha nature, it leads it down the proper road. Don't worry. Am I doing it right? Am I on the right path? Your Buddha nature knows. So far, so good? Isn't it exciting? It's like, them people say, oh, no, God knows. You know, you know, the them people I'm talking about, God knows, God guides me, and so forth. No, your Buddha nature is leading you down the proper path, the proper road. Yes? And in the future, the full perfection is truly without end. You get there for sure. Guaranteed. Don't buy any insurance. Don't buy into things that they make you, you know, pay me $5,000, a guarantee that you will become enlightened and so forth. Don't need to do that. Your self nature is guiding you, and then it's guaranteed you get there. So far, so good? You don't believe him, do you? <laughs> Not my problem. The root cause of purity is a lust nature. And once rid of lust, the substance of nature is pure. Furthermore, he says, purity is achieved via lust. Huh? 
The lust in your heart, I'm not pointing any fingers at any of you, okay? Please don't get offended. You know what I mean? <laughs> don't get offended, okay? The lust in your heart is the engine for you to become pure. Don't reject it. Don't say, no, I don't have lust. That's <laughs> right. Once rid of lust, the substance of nature is pure. That's why it's a secret. You look at your lust and you know, recognize lust, you throw it away. What remains is purity. So far, so good. Now, why do I go like this? Yeah. Because this is exactly what I, told, I taught you in the prior commentary slide. Look at yourself. What are you supposed to look at? I didn't dare say it, but he had to spell it out for you. Because I don't have the same problem as you. I mean, wait, wait, I, let me take it back. <laughs> he said, when you look at yourself, what are, what are you supposed to look at? We can look at a bunch of things, all the ugliness, all the ickiness, but eventually you find the one thing that lies underneath it is lust. If you love a red car, do you like horses, do you like night houses, do you like Noma, that comes from where? You keep on looking. You keep on looking at your ugliness. Eventually you find at the lowest level, low, all those layers you penetrate. You first you like, you like, you like Vietnamese food, then you like uh, Chinese food, and you like pizza, and eventually you like Noma. And then you say, oh, actually below, right, right below Noma is actually lust. You guys are not here in San Jose and in Korea. It's like deadly silence here in Wei Mountain Temple, except for Sarah's translation. Yes, number five. Master, I can recognize my lust, but what do I do to, is there's like a thin line to transform it to get purity, so it seems like. Right there it says, just transform it to get purity. But how do we go about doing that? Can I give you an anecdote? When you ask a question, sure. it, the anecdote came to mind immediately. In the sutra in 42 sections, there's a monk who's worked very diligently, cultivated very diligently, okay? With the Buddha. And... And, uh, and, and uh, he has this small problem. You know, he keeps on cultivating, he works day and night, and he works so hard and, and so forth for a long, long time. And he was so frustrated. Okay? He dropped red cars, he dropped food, he dropped everything else except for one thing left. And you guess what it is? Okay? What is that? Lust. <laughs> he dropped everything. He dropped hair. He dropped. He didn't dye his hair anymore. He doesn't cut his hair anymore. He doesn't wear nice clothes anymore. He doesn't eat from fancy food anymore. He doesn't he sleep on the fancy beds anymore. Dye old bed, that kind of thing, you know. Never tried those. Do they work? I'm always curious. I can't sit and you know, lie on those big beds anymore. Bodhisattva precepts. Anyway, I'm digressing. So, so, it's one thing left he has. He dropped everything. He dropped 
yoga, he dropped tai chi, he dropped chan meditation, he dropped everything else. No, none of that interests me. Okay, I have no attached to anything. Okay, but there's one thing left. I can't seem to shake off. Okay, so he was so frustrated and said, "I don't sleep, I don't eat, but still there. What do I do?" So what did he do? He was about to do commit the ultimate sacrifice. I immediately understand what it is. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. He was about to. Serious, yes. That's how dedicated he was. You laughing, <laughs> even Vicky. Oh, 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 oh she's. <laughs> <laughs> it was funny. And he was about to do the final commitment, the ultimate commitment. And the boy happened to be walking by. <laughs> Damn, excuse me. <laughs> he was about to, and the Buddha. Lo and behold, Buddha's walking by. <laughs> <laughs> the Koreans don't find it funny at all. Oh, God, Koreans so boring. <laughs> he was about to do it, okay? And then Buddha walks by and says, Oh, <laughs> his Buddha said, Hello. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> I said, Fine. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you holding? What? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> okay. Um, and Buddha talked to him and said, Son, don't do that to yourself. <laughs> he says, But what else can I do? I tried everything else. This is the only thing left that I haven't tried. He says, the Buddha explained to him, okay? Uh, I don't know that answers the question or not, but this is how I understood it, okay? I have no wisdom on how to do these things or, or uh, to penetrate these things. Uh, but my point here is that the Buddha explained to him, he says, I don't remember, I'm paraphrasing the Buddha, of course. He says, you, if you cut off the root, okay? That's the wrong place. It's the power. <laughs> oh, you, you, unless you're American, you will not like my joke. <laughs> <laughs> I feel for Koreans and Asians that are like, only Peter and I understand, and Brady is, I'm, I don't understand. I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> so the Buddha and the monk says, higher? I say, yeah, higher. Much higher. Xianxie doesn't get it, oh my god. <laughs> oh, this is too much for me. <laughs> so the monk said, higher, how can be? What do you mean higher? <laughs> so Buddha finally said, oh, you so stupid. Must I spell out everything for you? <laughs> higher is here, it's not there. <laughs> Alex is shocked. I <laughs> mean, so God, uh, it's not funny. I know. <laughs> so the Buddha explained to him, "Oh God, the Koreans missing out so much in life." <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I'm not going to tell them the other joke. <laughs> Related jokes, <laughs> same neighborhood. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I, I swear to you, it's not in the 42 section sutra, okay? <laughs> this is my interpretation. I warn you, I paraphrase a lot. <laughs> yes, eight. Hey. The, the, the San Jose people, they don't find it funny either. They all look, uh, I don't know, Master is going crazy. Yes, go, go ahead, eight. Thank you, Master. Um, uh, thank you for the Hanguk Saram uh, who take this so seriously because for the Western males in the audience here at Way Mountain Temple, I'm hanging on every word the Buddha's giving. <laughs> <laughs> I find it supremely serious and important to understand. <laughs> oh, good Lord. Uh, the, the Asians, they don't you know, appreciate our... <laughs> it's a cultural thing. <laughs> You're not supposed to appreciate it. <laughs> Good Lord. The Buddha explained, to physically cut it off will not work. You have to cut off the root of the lust is in your mind. It's not physical. Okay? So, uh, to so that monk, that monk uh, later realized that and uh, lived too late. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> oh God! All the Korean and Jew Mountain Temple—they don't dare laugh. <laughs> they find it funny. They don't dare laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Sinan, seriously. Go ahead, Sinan. Korea. Yes. Korea.公共演话中에 <laughs> 깨닫지 못했다고 말을 하는 영화가 있습니다. 실제로. 마스터, I saw a movie and there was this monk who actually cut his bottom. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Korean monk. <laughs> <laughs> and then he was cultivating in a cave, but ultimately he didn't get re enlightened. It's true, it's true. I heard stories like that too, where they actually <laughs> committed the thing. <laughs> They're crazy. These people are crazy. Clearly, they don't read sutras at all because sutras says, no, don't do that. <laughs> you know, please don't. But no, these people, I'm committed. <laughs> I, I'm not backing down. So you see, uh, so the question, how do I get rid of lust? You get rid of lust by working on your mind, okay? And uh, so don't forget about that. The Buddhist practices uh, will help you uh, go through these processes that will help you get rid of lust, okay? And you won't be the first one, okay? Uh, not at all. By far, you should be at least uh, one trillionth in the... Uh, uh, in the hierarchy of things. So, so a lot of people are able to do that. Okay? Uh, it's possible without having to injure yourself. <laughs> All right. Okay. So once you get rid of lust, your nature is pure. So in all the words, let me interpret that for you. When you look at your ugliness, you look at your attachment to your cars, to your house, to money and all those things and say, oh, why am I so attached, okay? When I die, I can't take it with me, okay? Because it's easy. You can rationalize, rationalize it and say, okay, you know, I love my son, but pretty soon he'll leave me because he gets old enough and, and now he chases after girls. He doesn't care about his mother anymore, 
Sound familiar? Huh? Yes? And now they bring their girlfriend home and say, Mom, you know, better be nice to her. You want me? You hear? Sound familiar? I did that to my mother too. Um, <clears throat> so, so you you find out all those things. You get you you let go of those things. Eventually, you come down to realize the one dr- engine, the one engine behind all those attachments, is actually lust. Okay, you have one thing left. That's called lust. You cannot hide anymore. So until then, no point talking about lust. Is that clear? You don't say, I'm going to become enlightened, I'm going to get rid of lust right away. It doesn't work like that. Okay? So can we agree this is our sign language? Get rid of lust? <laughs> okay, I won't joke anymore today. That's, I'm, you know, I, I use up my quota of jokes for today. Okay? No more jokes. All seriousness only. <laughs> I'm not even smile. Yes, eight. Uh, thank, thank you, Master. Just a small request: if we could have the the nonverbal code be as high as as possible. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. This could be misinterpreted. You know. <laughs> thank you. And you, you. It's very good. Yeah, yeah. We know. We want to give very precise instructions. <laughs> okay. I guess an idea for Dharma glimpse or anything. <laughs> okay. Uh, you will be able to, able to get rid of lust, by the way. Okay. There's a process. Don't worry. Okay. It's very doable. Yes, number eight. Mua Phật và Thầy. Cái đó là giống giống sư phụ hoặc là Đức Phật là người giác ngộ không có khai thị được cái 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 câu đó cái câu chuyện đó. Yeah. No translation. <laughs> oh, I'm not. I'm not sure I want to translate the rest of the lecture anymore. Họ không được khai thị cái câu đó cho những cái người mà có cái cái bệnh đó. Sorry, I don't really understand what she meant. She said, like, Sư phụ or the Buddha. We uh, gave the same instructions. They both gave the, gave the such same instructions. instructions. Yes, get rid of the lust. For, for people to get enlightenment. Yes. You need to get rid of lust to become enlightened. And that's a, that's a process that you, you naturally go through. Don't worry about it. You know, don't, don't try to understand too much. It's not meant for you to understand. Just get rid of it. Okay? And, <clears throat> and I, I, uh, I would uh, caution you this uh, comment here is incorrect. Don't get dejected with sexual desire. Just transform it to get purity. That's baloney. The Chinese is true in. Chú in, in or in? In, 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 okay. Chú in meaning you have, you just, you just throw it out. That's all. It's, the Chinese is excellent. There's no transformation here. My, my commentary is, is wrong, okay? Okay? Don't trust me. Okay, trust the Buddha. <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right. Uh, so, uh, you chew in, uh, meaning you, you throw it out. It's that simple. You don't need to cut it off. You throw it out. Okay, and you will, your, your nature becomes pure. That's all it takes. Just take it out. Just remove it. That's all. It's, it's fantastic. Yes, five. Um, maybe if we can get on it, Shin, Shin, what does it say in Chinese right there? Because usually it, it means two different things and it gets lost in the English translation. So it really means throw it out of your mind right there. Yeah. The, 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 the way they translate it 
it's, it's a literary instead of, these are, these are very accurate instructions for cultivation. The six page chart only wants one thing. That's why I took liberties two slides ago. I say, if you, when you say that, you probably mean this. This is how, what I would tell my Western students. Westerner students, your instruction maybe may work for the Chinese, the Asian, but it would not work for my Westerner students. They need clear instruction on this. This is confusing to them. Okay, because when you're Asian, these Asians, so, uh, they're so used to it. They say, look at yourself, nature. Okay. The Westerners say, say what? Right? And that's the first reaction you're going to have. My very first reaction. What is it? Tell me. Yeah, I'm willing to look, but what is it? What is it? Okay? So that's why, that's why I... I I flip it around a little bit, but it's the same, same process. Because ultimately, it leads to this. It leads to, you get rid of your ugliness, or your ickiness, okay? Your arrogance, your self-serving, your pettiness, your manipulativeness. Huh? Then you come down to that one thing called lust. Okay? then you can still get rid of it. Then you peer. Yes, Q&A. <coughs> Thầy Di Đà Phật. Uh, khi uh, Ngài uh, bằng quẩn uh, lời hỏi Mã Tổ chứ uh, thưa Tổ, nước không có gân xương, mà tại sao đổi được chiếc tàu mấy ngàn tấn? Thì Tổ mới trả lời, trong cái không nó có cái gì trỏng mà gân với xương với cái gì trỏng? Thành ra mình nãy mình nói cái thiện, cái ác, cái này, cái nọ đó Thì kinh bắt nhã biểu mình ngủ quẩn dây không bỏ nó đi Thì nó còn cái không, không có không có không Còn cái mà cái Phật tánh của mình như lục tổ nói đó Chứ không phải bỏ rồi mình 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 chết nhiều người hỏi chứ bỏ cái ngủ quẩn, cái bản ngã để nó đi đâu Thì sáu cái thức đó nó sẽ chuyển thành cái cái trí của Phật đó Mình có sẵn cái đó mà mình biết xài Rồi thứ hai là cái bệnh dâm dục nó cắt ở đâu thì đức phật có nói rõ ràng dạy cho ngài an an là để tượng trưng để dạy cho mình mấy ông rủi mà có những cái ví dụ mà có những thói hư thực xấu mà cắt không được cái bỏ không được đó hãy dùng thần chú lăng nghiêm của tôi nó sẽ móc tận gốc rễ những cái thói hư thực xấu mấy ông ra để mấy ông đắc đạo xin hết Um, Master, the um, Pang layman was asking Ma Tzu, say, um, the water has no bone, no tendon cord. How come it can support the boat that, it, that is like a few thousand tons heavy? And then the Ma Tzu say, like, um, the water uh, doesn't have uh, anything in there. Uh, I'm sorry. Thưa Thầy, chỉ cái chỗ này Thầy nói là cái nước làm sao thầy? Lúc mà mã tổ um, giải thích cho bàn Long ổn đó, thì thầy nói là nước là như thế nào? Chỉ trống hết. Đó. Like there's nothing in the water. No. In the Buddha, Buddha nature, I have nothing there. No water, no boat, no boat, no tanking. What you ask for? Trong cái tánh không, nó không có gì trọng hết đó. Thí dụ mà trong Kinh Phật nói là bỏ ngũ quẩn dây không đó. Vậy thì mình không, mình không còn cái gì sao. Mình còn cái biết của mình, cái biết đó, đó cái biết mà chưa có suy nghĩ, phân biệt đó, cái biết đó là cái biết Phật biết đó. Mà mình không có làm được. Thì trong Kinh dạy mình là hãy nó khởi lên rồi drop nó đi khởi lên là rớt nó đi thì đến một lúc nào đó đó nó nó cái những cái thức đó nó nằm mắt tay mua lửa thân ý nó chuyển thành cái trí của phật đó của chư phật có đó mình có sẵn rồi thứ hai là những cái tánh dâm dục những tánh tham lam trộm cắp rồi đó mình bỏ biết nhưng mà mình nói không được thì đức phật có cho mình cái dụng cụ là mấy ông hãy dùng thần chú là nghiêm của tôi so the the um, like uh, basically 
uh, in your Buddha nature, there's nothing in there. So, um, uh, so that's why, like for example, the people say like the five scandals are empty, and uh, whenever anything that arises, you just drop it because um, um, your Buddha nature is already there. It already exists. And then um, in the Surangama Sutra, the Buddha taught Ananda that if you want to cut off your alerts or any um, negative things and any bad habit, and if you cannot do it, you just need to recite the Surangama Sutra. That Sutra, the power of the Sutra, will help you to get rid of all of the bad things. Okay, let me, let me explain to you what he's talking about. <clears throat> I'm not sure I, I, I don't re ever remember ever reading about this, but the teaching is, is correct. Pang uh, Leiman was a famous Chinese idol, pop culture. Uh, he's a lay person who became enlightened. I imagine, I figure it's about mid-range, not very high level, because he's still full of himself, thinks he knows everything. Sounds familiar, anyone? Think you better. Uh, anyway, so he became enlightened. Uh, he later became enlightened. But so he came and asked Mazu and said, water has no spine, no body at all, nothing at all. How come it support the boat? And Masu immediately replied, he says, what are you talking about? There's no water, there's no boat, there's no support. You understand the teaching? Pang Lehman still sees water, still sees water, he still sees a boat. That's why he says, how come the boat floats? How come the rocket flies into the sky? Explain that to me. What's the science behind it? Yes? The wise teacher says, there's no rocket. There's no sky. What are you talking about? You want me to explain stupid things to you? Does it help? Okay. So we don't know whether Pang Lehman got it or not, but basically, Ma, see, he, he, he came, Pang Lehman, Lehman Pang came to the Ma Zhu. Ma Zhu is one of the great Chinese Chan patriarchs as well. He says, you know, hey, listen, I have this problem. Please help me understand, you know, the physics of water supporting the, the, uh, the boat because I don't see any spine, I don't see anything in water that uh, will help the boat, the boat float. And, and uh, Mazu says, Mazu's reaction is that, why do you long want to learn about the small things? The big picture is that there's no support, there's no water, there's no boat. Stop wasting your time chasing after water, chasing after boat, and trying to understand why it floats. Does it help? That's called sudden teaching. But clearly, Pang Lehman didn't get it. Because if Pang Lehman got it, he would have never left Ma Zhu. So why would he go anywhere else? Huh? It would be a waste of time to go anywhere else. But no, he left later anyway. Okay? You know, I had enough. You guys, I'm not getting anything out of you. So he left. You got to be one of the most stupid enlightened person in China. Okay. I'm opinionated, I know. <laughs> Guilty as charged. Okay. But anyway, uh, the Chinese are so too amateur with that idiot. Uh, anyway, so you see, that, that's, that's the anecdote behind, behind that chanting. It is, that's the meaning of that. Okay. You keep on insisting on trying to understand the small things. It's a waste of time. Look at the big picture. That's where the treasure is. 
Is that clear? That's a very beautiful Chan anecdote. The rest about Srangama Sutra, we're getting rid of, of uh, lust and so forth, that's from the books. Okay? Uh, it's okay to know about it, but too slow. It's for people who don't understand. And that's why you need to, to give them those things. But for the Chan schools, too slow. By the time you recite Shranga Mantra, it's 553 to 54 lines. How long does it take you? 15 minutes? Is that called such enlightenment? No. All right. Okay, but a good anecdote. Okay, so you get rid of lust. So, so the translation, unfortunately, mm, uh, uh, is... Uh, is uh, unfortunate, okay? Uh, the the six-page chart teaching is very, very beautiful, and we, I think we should change it, okay? Okay, in the future, okay, that's fine. The first part, fine, doesn't matter. First start is not a big deal. But the second part is very critical. This is very important instructions. This, okay? Very critical instruction. He says, the in sing bang chu jing sing chung in. So he says, lust. Forget about nature. Nature is. Chinese, they, they want to make it literary, scholarly, okay? We Westerners, I want you to be more blunt, more direct. It's not lust nature, it's lust. That's not, that's, that's called a spade a spade. Lust is just lust. You can add nature, it's still lust. So far, so good. So changes to, okay, lust. Fundamentally is the cause for purity. Change the English, please. This is my stamp on it. No of this, no more of this scholarly Chinese thing. Okay. I want you to understand clearly what this is about. Lust nature, and then if I tell you lust nature, and you can, you can sit there, lust I understand. What about lust nature? Let me see if I understand what lust nature is. It's blue, black, you know, the nature is blue, it's transparent. You see my problem? It's okay for the Chinese, not for us. The more words I give him, the more he sits there. Explain about nature for me. Got that? Okay, we're not taking questions. Go ahead, seven. Are you sure? Okay. Thank you, Master. Uh, so uh, right now, I was trying to examine my lust. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and so, uh, you know, I was like, why am I lustful? And it's just like, oh, at, at the root of it, I guess, like, I want pleasure. I want deep connection. I want to be validated. I want, you know, to be understood, uh, right. admired. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, well, if I do all those things for myself, then I won't want it externally. Is that like a good foundation to like build on to see what the root? My friend, of oh. it's a good question, but I would not touch it with a 10 foot pole. <laughs> I can't win when I touch it. <laughs> okay. On the right tracks, in general, okay? You're missing the point. The point is that you cannot look at lust yet. You have to look at the small things. What's, what matters to you right now? I, heard, I saw, I remember seeing someone going like this earlier. It's not about lust. Take care of this first. That's my point. You missed that. Don't worry about lust yet. 
Be more humble. When we talk about look and lust here, you have these layers. I told you, but you didn't pay attention. You weren't paying attention. Before you look at lust, there are layers on top you need to get rid of first. Before you can look at lust. Looking at lust right now is not going to work. Okay? Hmm. Next. Uh, okay? Chú chí in chí sư. Uh, lust expelled chu. I want to preserve the chu here. Okay, the Chinese chu is beautiful. Even the Chinese don't get it. That's why they cannot translate this. It's not read. It's expelled. It's nothing to cut. Remember, it's nothing to cut. Just throw it out. Okay? Uh, lust expelled is just the pure nature body. It is so beautiful. And if there's a translator, that translating that translator person here, I would slap her in the face. You're destroying the Chinese teaching. And those who approve this should be electrocuted. Okay. Let's expel it just the nature, the pure nature body. That's it. Questions? Yes, number one. With, with that translation, Master, it sounds to me like lust expelled. So once it's expelled, the lust is the pure nature body. But isn't the idea that when the lust is expelled, what's left behind is the pure nature body? Is there a difference there? Semantically speaking, are they any different? Yeah, is, is it the lust? If the lust is expelled and then that which you expelled is the true nature body versus the lust is expelled and what's left behind is the true nature body? It's no true. You keep on adding true. There's no oh, such sorry. a thing as a pure, true. Oh, sorry, pure, pure nature body, I meant. It's a pure nature body. That's all. Mm -hmm. That's what the Chinese said. The, the, the sixth patriarch says, just expel lust. What remains is exactly the pure nature body. Mm -hmm. It's very precise. I just don't quite get that from the English right now what you just said right now, and then the English that's on the slide seems a little bit different. That's exactly what the English says. You're just not supposed to understand. If you understand, okay. there's no point for you to come to stay here. Go out and have your own temple. You don't need me. The reason you hear you asking questions is because you don't understand this, what this really means. It's not what the original translation was. This is what it means. And when you get there, you understand what it means. These people who translated the original, original translation, okay, they are not there. That's why they don't understand what lust expel is just a pure nature body. But we're not going to explain it to you because... You're supposed to discover this when you expel lust. This is not a commercial. There is no commercial interest here. 
no commercial endorsements here for me to explain everything for you. You're supposed to discover it yourself when that happens. When lust is expelled, that is just the pure nature of the body. Same thing. Okay? All right. I'm not going to argue semantics with him. Anyone else has any other questions? This is a very powerful statement. Of course you don't understand. Okay? Okay, and, and uh, throw out the comment here and say, and say boo, you know, do, do a strike on this thing and they say, uh, 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 baloney. I don't know what inspired that baloney, but I'm ashamed of it. Any questions? Go ahead. Two. Master, for the four state are had, uh, they stop, they can stop the sexual desire. Does it mean that they will be able to expel the, sexu- the lust that they have? Yes. All right. Any other questions? Okay. Uh, 274. Each of you within your natures abandon the five desires. In a kasana, see your nature, it is true. If in this life you encounter the door of the certain teaching. Okay, it still, it still continues. So we explain the first two and then we leave the third one. Okay. Uh, commentary on 275. Each of you, each and every one of you. Okay? He's, he's very personal. I'm not talking about theory. He says, you and you and you and you. Is that clear? It's very, very... I love his style. It's brutal. It's violent. And Breeze, yeah, what's so great about it? Violent is beautiful. Oh, disagrees. Uh, each of you, within your nature, abandon the five desires. That's what we're talking about. Okay? He says, lust, you have throw out lust. But I explained to you, he elaborated later, I say, before we talk about lust, you have to get rid of your five desires. Okay? What are the five desires? Desires for, what do you want? What? That's the first thing that you want. Sex! I can't believe it. this guy. You've been in Canada too long. What else do you want? What else do Americans want? Money, money. Yes? What else is more important for Americans? And Chinese alike. Chinese only want money nowadays. Number three, what do you desire? Besides sex, f- feed, feed, <laughs> feed. The guy who went, he moved to, to Texas, feed. <laughs> huh? Food, yes? Noma. I just did a free commercial for Noma for the whole lecture. And they don't need charitable contributions at all. We will we need charitable contribution. They don't. <laughs> okay. Feed. Fame. And sleep is last. Sleep is only monks crave for it. Normal people don't crave <laughs> sleep. <laughs> the monks and nuns, you know, they crave for food. Well, other things. And, and sleep. Okay? 
We don't let them sleep that much. Okay? Yeah, those are the five desires. Is it clear? Sex. You don't think about it clearly. The way you look at me, I say, <laughs> what do you think about during the day? Movies? First thing. Second thing is money. Money buys anything you want. Yes? And then when you think too much, you get tired, so what do you want? Coca-Cola, I mean, no, Pepsi. Is that clear? We agree on this? Huh? And then what else? Once you have all the things, this is, wow, it would be nice. People know me, remember me, idolize me. Yes, flame. And finally, sleep. I'm tired. I need some rest. Okay, leave me alone. Okay? See, that's my, my hierarchy. I'm slightly different than Maslow's hierarchy. Safety and you know, sleep and you know, all those things, you know. No, it's uh, sex, it's money. Yeah. This is 21st century. <sighs> I'm tired. I need some sleep. <laughs> okay? So, within your nature, meaning within you, within your mind, Never mind about your nature. I know this guy's going to go crazy. My nature. Explain. What is my nature? In your mind. See, this is typical Chinese instruction. Sing Chung, okay? In your nature, in your nature, each one of you should be apart. Leave. Abandon is okay, okay? Abandon is better. It's very good. The five desires. Okay? This is a good translation. Okay? However, again, my objection to this, dear Westerners, is that this is Asian. Nature, again, nature is nebulous to us. Okay? I want you, in your mind, leave it to the Chinese, the Asians, the Koreans, and the Vietnamese, and the Japanese, and so forth. Let them look in their nature and abandon the five desires. For us in America, white and yellow alike, hmm? we look in our minds. Does it help? Let the Koreans look into their natures. Look in your nature, okay? We look at our minds. It's the same thing. But the Chinese choose to make it so scholarly, so mystical. It's just your mind. Your mind is just your nature. Nowhere else. Okay? Look within your mind, okay? I'm sorry, great patriarch, great patriarch. You are the best. Okay? Uh, you are numero uno. Uh, uh, allow me to paraphrase a little bit, but that's the teaching is correct. Okay? Look within your mind. Okay? Uh, abandon the five desires. Okay? You hear me? Never mind about the sex yet. Okay? Uh, I mean, the, the sexual nature yet. Okay? The lust yet. Okay, the sex is, is different from the lust. Is it clear? Do you understand me? The, do you understand the difference between sex and lust? Why do you look at me like that? Where have you been? I don't dare ask the Koreans. <laughs> do you understand the difference between lust and sex? No. I'm not. Yes, go ahead, Ahung. Master, by definition, the lust is the strong sexual desire. Then what is the difference between sex and lust then? Go back to Vietnam. <laughs> God, you've been here how long now? You still don't understand the difference between sex and lust? I can't explain it to you, man. <laughs> Uh, 
<laughs> Peter, go ahead. <laughs> All the girls like it. <laughs> oh, you naughty girl, naughty girl. <laughs> oh, she likes it too much. Oh, good Lord. Thank you, Master. <laughs> Thank you, Master. <laughs> oh, God, this is such profound teaching, and you guys are laughing since uh, we started. Oh, this is too much. Yes. Go on. So, lust. Start with the birds and the bees. <laughs> lust is when you're excited to, to get up to the plate, right? You're a baseball player. You really want to get up to the plate. You want to hit. Sex. <laughs> careful, careful. <laughs> Sex is when you hit the ball. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> this is a lot worse than I thought <laughs> even Jung Yin is laughing <laughs> he doesn't even play baseball <laughs> that's beautiful oh good lord Uh, yes, nine. Thank you. <laughs> oh, uh. Emily said thought versus action. Cordelia said sex is more physical versus lust is more of the mind and can keep you thinking about it. It's called love, honey. <laughs> lust is love. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Sex is, uh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> okay? Cordelia, you know, hey, we, we need to have a, you know, clarify a few things. <laughs> okay? All right, anyone else? Don't trust the Asians. They, they're still <laughs> not clear about, you know, lust and sex. I mean, Jesus. Me too. <laughs> Okay? Uh, can we continue, please? This is so important. This is so beautiful. Because I know for a fact, and we come back next week, I will avoid eating fatty stuff so that I'm not as excitable anymore. <laughs> I'm not myself today, okay? In a kasana, see your nature, okay? Uh, okay. Mm. Mm. Okay. Uh, uh, see. Your nature. In the kasana. That is. The truth. Okay? Chen here is not true. That's the truth. You're seeing the truth. True is meaningless. The truth is what we're talking about. Can you handle it? You see? Oh, those movies are so much more profound than you guys realize. Jack Nicholson is my idol. Yeah? Okay. Uh, see your nature in the kasana, that is the truth. When you see your nature, you're seeing the truth, in other words. Okay? If you don't see your nature, you're not seeing the truth. Is the implications. Until you see your nature, you cannot see the truth. It's beautiful. Uh, 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 I, f I feel s so underappreciated. 
it is so beautiful the way he puts it. But you look at, oh yeah, oh yeah, come on. Okay, it is ingenious. In this life, you encounter the door of certain teaching. Jin Sheng Ro Yu Dun Chiao Man. So that's the next part. That's next week. How's that? Okay. Can we stop here? Let's not do this until next week. Hmm? Okay. Thank you, everyone. This is kind of cool, huh? Oh, this. Oh, his teaching is so fabulous. Huh? You Asians have to move to the U.S. We really appreciate this. It's so beautiful. Okay, thank you everyone. Rebirth transference.